Revlimid, shown here, is an immunomodulatory compound currently indicated for the treatment of patients with multiple myeloma whose disease has progressed after one prior therapy when used in combination with dexamethasone. This animation will describe Revlimid's proposed mechanism of action based on data obtained from in vitro studies. Revlimid has a dual mechanism of action, an anti-tumor effect and an immunomodulatory effect. The anti-tumor effect inhibits the growth and proliferation of tumor cells and leads to the death of myeloma cells. The immunomodulatory effect enhances the immune system's response against myeloma cells. The tumoricidal effects of Revlimid include the induction of cell cycle arrest, the facilitation of apoptosis of tumor cells, reduction in angiogenesis and stromal cell support, and disruption to the production of factors that promote myeloma cell survival and proliferation. Revlimid helps directly reduce tumor cell burden by stopping the growth of myeloma cells. It inhibits the cell cycle of myeloma cells by increasing the expression of certain tumor suppressor genes, such as the cyclin-dependent kinase inhibitors and the early growth response family of genes. The upregulation of these genes in the presence of Revlimid arrests the cell cycle and prevents the division of myeloma cells. Revlimid also works to increase tumor cell death by increasing the sensitivity of tumor cells to factors that stimulate apoptosis. It activates the effector proteins of apoptosis, called caspases, and facilitates the release of pro-apoptotic signals such as cytochrome C inside the cell. Together, these changes increase tumor cell death the combination of dexamethasone with Revlimid has been shown in vitro to synergistically enhance tumor cell apoptosis. Revlimid has been shown to inhibit angiogenesis, which involves the growth of nutrients supplying blood vessels to the tumor cells by significantly reducing vascular endothelial growth factor and interleukin-6 levels. Revlimid also disrupts the production of growth factors and cytokines that are essential for myeloma cell survival, proliferation, migration and attachment to stromal cells. In vitro experiments have shown that Revlimid strongly inhibits the production of cytokines. In particular, tumor necrosis factor alpha, which has been implicated in the pathogenesis of hematologic malignancies. Revlimid also reduces levels of factors that inhibit apoptosis, regulate proliferation of myeloma cells and promote survival of myeloma cells. Finally, Revlimid inhibits the adhesion of myeloma cells to bone marrow stromal cells by reducing levels of cell surface adhesion molecules. The proposed immunomodulatory effect of Revlimid is to increase the activation and proliferation of various immune cells. Revlimid enhances immune cell activation and proliferation by facilitating the interaction between antigen-presenting cells and T-cells and increasing the expression of cytokines controlling the proliferation, differentiation and survival of various immune cells. These immune cells release cytokines, which further stimulate immune cell proliferation and activate T cells and natural killer cell activity. This leads to increased activity against myeloma cells, causing them to undergo apoptosis. In summary, from in vitro data, Revlimid has a proposed dual mechanism of action. It has a direct anti-tumor effect which results in cell cycle arrest, increased tumor cell death, decreased angiogenesis, and disruption of growth factor and cytokine production. Revlimid also has an immunomodulatory effect, which enhances immune cell activation and proliferation, resulting in continued tumor killing through immune-mediated mechanisms.